What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a registration form using Elementor. Now we're going to be creating a form that looks exactly like this. So if you guys want to learn how I made this form, go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. So head over to your dashboard, go to plugins, and then go to click on add new. And then go ahead and type, type in um, HD Mega. And then go ahead and install this plugin here. And activate it. And now we're going to go ahead and create our registration page. So head over to your pages. Click on Add New. And then go ahead, just go ahead and type in Register. And I'm going to click publish and then I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. So the first thing I'm going to do here is add a column and just add a just add a one column and then I'm going to go ahead and add a background to this. I'm going to go to style and this is just my preference um, and I'm only doing this because my menu is transparent. And I have to do this so that I'm able to see my menu. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and add some spacing to this. So I'm going to do about 100 from the top. Uh, let me make sure that this is unselected actually. So let me bring this back to zero. And then I'm going to make sure that at the top here it's 100. And at the bottom, it's also 100. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my elements here. And I'm going to grab this intersection and I'm going to drag it into my column. And then now I have a column within a column. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and find an image. So I'm going to have my image on the left side. And then I'm going to go into uh, my elements here. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in um, register. Or you can just type in a part of it. You don't really got to type in all of it. Um, and then you'll see user register form. So go ahead and drag this over here to the right side. And now we're going to go ahead and see the form here. Now we are going to stylize this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my column here and go to style and then go to background type. And I'm going to make this background white. And then I'm going to go to border and I'm going to make the border radius 10. Sorry, uh, 10. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a shadow to this, but I'm going to bring this down about to here. And I think that's good. And then from here, I'm going to go into advance. And then I'm going to add some padding to this. So I'm going to probably do 100 again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do 50. So 50 from the top and then 50 from the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my images and I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Now, if you're wondering where to get um, uh, graphics like this, you can just go ahead and go to um, undraw dot, uh, sorry, co. I'll go ahead and have a link to that in the description. You guys can go ahead and check out these graphics and you can change the color of um, any of these um, graphics here according to your website so and you can just use any of this maybe a registration you can mm -hmm. even use this one or whatever that may be that goes with your website um, so that's where I got this um, illustration from so from here I'm gonna actually add some spacing here to the right and left side of this column so I'm gonna make sure I select this column here and then I'm going to go and then from the left side, but I'm going to probably put about 20 and then from the right, I'm going to put about 20 as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now I'm going to go ahead and update this and take a look. So as you can tell, we can see our menu here above and that's kind of the reason why I added this background. Um, for you, you'll probably only focus on this area here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually open up an incognito window. So then I can view this. Um, let me just go ahead and go into my pages actually. 
I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to click on this. And see here. Now, since I am on a local host, that's why it's kind of like this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and let's see if I can view this on an incognito window. Okay, and now we can go ahead and see how this looks like. Now, I'm going to go ahead and edit this. So I'm going to add some more spacing above. So I'm going to do about. I'm going to do about 200 above. Now, this is just my preference and that's only because um, I have to have a spacing above so then so then my menu is visible. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. There we go. So that's perfect. Um, so now from here, I'm going to go ahead and start adjusting this. Now, the issue, there are some issues with this form and this was actually one of the only um, registration forms that I was able to find um, within an Elementor extension. That's why we kind of have to um, work with what we have here. Um, obviously, if you have the pro version, you're able to also do it with the pro version. But um, so what I would do is just use, um, let's see, which one is it? It would be style two is the one that I would use. You style two, and then just add these in here. And you'll kind of tend to see the reason being is because if we use style five, which looks clean and all, but the thing is, it doesn't really show our other fields. If we're only using username, password, and email for registration, that's fine. But let's say we want to have, have um, these other fields on here as well. We're going to want to um, go ahead and use style two, and we'll stylize the um, this form here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a website as well. And then um, and then what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to go ahead and save this because we need to remove this background. Now you're not able to remove this background within the, the style of this um, of this form which is kind of a bummer. You're only able to add a background to the fields and um, the placeholder color and all that, but I haven't been able to find a background um, color for this. So pretty much what we need to do is we need to just change um, the CSS of this. And don't worry, it's actually not complicated at all. It's very easy. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go into my incognito window and I'm going to refresh this. And I'm going to go ahead and right click this and click inspect. Now I will give you guys this code anyway. Uh, it will probably be in the description, but I'll just show you guys how you guys can do this. So basically just go ahead and click on the selector here at the top and then just go ahead and select um, the form here. And then I'm just going to want to look at the CSS of this. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and find the CSS. And it looks like it's this background here. So I'm going to maybe make this white. Or that's sorry, that's um gray there. So let me just make this completely white. Okay. So now we have that completely white, and that's pretty much how I want it. So now I'm gonna grab this this uh, CSS code. I'm gonna copy it. Now I will provide the CSS code down in the description. And if I don't, just feel free to remind me. And then I'm gonna go into advance. And I'm doing this from this um from this uh widget here. So go ahead and click on this uh, widget and then go to advance and then go to custom CSS. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're not using the pro version. So actually, sorry about that, guys. Completely forgot, but don't worry. Um, just go into your website, go into customize. Now, if you are using the pro version, you can easily just use that. And then go ahead and go into additional CSS and just type it in here. And now go ahead and publish it. And now uh, let's go ahead and just refresh this. Okay, so now it's working. Now it's not using that custom um, code anymore because once you refresh it, it will kind of remove itself. So, so now that that's working perfectly, I'm gonna go ahead and make some adjustments to this. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna actually refresh this, and now as we can tell, it's white. So now we just need to go in, go ahead and go into the style, go to input, 
and then we can start to to adjust our um fields here so i'm going to go ahead and add a background to my field and i'm probably going to make this a light gray or i could even make this a light blue actually Let me go ahead and that's entirely up to you. And then go into um, border your border radius here. I'm gonna do about I can add about a ten. Uh, no, nah, that actually does not look that good. I'm gonna do about a five. And then uh, for my text color, so I can adjust this. Um, I can go ahead. Let's see my text. That's you might be my sorry, it's gonna be your placeholder. Um, and you can actually make that any color you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose this color because I think that goes very well. And it kind of goes with my um my uh my illustration here. So let me go ahead and just refresh this. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my button. So I'm gonna go into my submit button. And then I'm gonna change the color. So I can change it to, let's see, that's just a text color. I'm actually gonna make the text color white and then my background, which is pretty much my uh, my uh, background color for my button. I'm gonna go ahead and make that blue there. There we go. And then I'm gonna add a title to this. Now I might just adjust my um, my registration form here a bit more at least the uh, stylizing of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in register. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to this. Now the reason why I'm using this is because this is a color that I've been using for the website here. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and go ahead and center this. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into the style here and make this a little bit bigger there. And then I'm gonna make sure that I click on this um, column here and then I'm gonna go into vertical align and I'm gonna make sure that's set to the middle. Okay. And that's looking good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click update. Now you can stylize this however you want, but that's just a, Oh, I just ended up stylizing this. Now let me go ahead and check this out. Okay. So now that's looking great there. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and just test this out. Actually, I don't like how there's a lot of spacing here um, at the bottom. So I'm going to go to remove some spacing from the bottom before I do that. And that's just my preference here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this column. And then from the bottom, I'm going to remove maybe 30. Uh, actually, not 30. I'm going to remove about, let's see, 20 until it's pretty similar. Maybe about 10. Let's see. Okay, that's perfect there. All right. Now, if you guys did want to maybe have um a border right here in the middle you guys can do that as well just by clicking the column go to border and then from actually do solid and then from the right maybe you can have a border i would probably have that dotted though it'd be a dotted border and then um you can go ahead and even choose this color here now that does actually work as well so but what we need to do is adjust the column um spacing here above so go ahead and just click on this column go to advance and then remove the spacing here and we need just need to make that even now what i could do actually is click on the section here and then go into and just add in no gap and then here as well let's go ahead and add no gap there we go and then go ahead and click on this column and then from the bottom, let's add about 20 here. And let's do about, let's see, maybe we can, let's see here, 30. Okay, 30 might actually work. 
and 30 as well. And do 40 here from the looks of it. Just so then it's a little more even. I think that's even right there. Of course, this is just my preference, guys. But uh, we're pretty much done with this video. If you guys do have any questions on this, feel free to comment down below. And I'll definitely help you guys out. Um, if you guys did like this video uh, and it did help you guys out, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.